Now this is Professor Cummings. I wanted to do an example of a first order linear differential equation. Now we've gone through some of the basics. We've, we've gone through how a problem is set up. Now as this uh, video is going to be a short video just doing an example of it as well as a little bit of refresher on some of the basics behind it. So the first thing to know is what that looks like in standard form. You know, dy over dx plus p of x times y is equal to a function of x. And this p of x is extremely important for a couple of reasons. The first one is it puts it into the, or the it allows us to find the integrating factor. And the integrating factor is just a term that we use to make this equation easier to uh, integrate. Right now in this form it's not very easy to integrate. So we use this integrating factor in order to do that we need p of x. Now once we use the integrating factor it puts it into the form of the product meaning that this integrating factor times p of x becomes a derivative of the integrating factor. And when it's in this product that means the product of the integrating factor times y gives us, or the derivative of those two products is actually the uh, product rule, which is easy to take the antiderivative of it. So let me show you the steps behind this problem. There's actually five steps, fairly easy to follow steps. You know, just got to remember these steps in order and you'll be fine. The first is put it into actual standard form put into standard form, you can now identify P of X as well as set it up for taking the antiderivative. Next is finding that integrating factor. The integrating factor U of X is just E raised to the antiderivative of P of X D of X. And so that gives us the integrating factor. Now going to that product rule, you multiply that integrating factor times the standard form. So that u of x times d of x plus p of x times u of x times y is equal to f of x, the function of x, times u of x. Now again, knowing that it's the product, we have u of x, the integrating factor, and its derivative, p of x times u of x. And here you have y and its derivative, dy over dx. And that is the derivative of the product of u of x, the integrating factor, times y. And that's why you, know, you can think of this as undoing the product. So that's the third step, you know, multiplying through by that integrating factor. Then you take the antiderivative, integrate both sides. So the antiderivative of a derivative is equal to the antiderivative of u of x times f of x. And that is you know, fairly easy to the antiderivative of the left side of the equation just becomes the argument u of x times y and then you just solve it explicitly for y so let me just divide by that integrating factor and these are the five steps so let's look at the actual problem and let's work through that so these are the five steps just all laid out right here in the corner and we'll use the rest of this page as, as our worksheet so let's start with this particular problem. So we have dy over dx plus 2 over x times y is equal to x minus 1. Well, that is actually in standard form. We've got dy over dx. We've got p of x times y is equal to a function of x. So we can identify p of x, which is just 2 over x. And now we have enough information to do the integrating factor. So step one, we're good to go. So step one. Step two, we do our integrating factor again with the equation, you know, u of x, the integrating factor is equal to e raised to the antiderivative of p of x times d of x. In this case, p of x is just 2 over x. And that comes out to, the constant comes out of the infinite sum, so 2 and over x just the natural log of x and with the power rule or the rule of exponents you have e raised to the natural log of x squared and 
now the E and the natural log cancel out, and the integrating factor is now x squared. Okay, so now we have an integrating factor of x squared. Now this next step, you know, this whole step of multiplying by the integrating factor of the product rule, I want to see put this separate. So we'll put a little box here and, and do all our activity in that. So we've got our integrating factor and we have it in standard form. So we're going to multiply through by the integrating factor. So we have x squared times d of x, right? x squared times d of x. plus x squared, the integrating factor, times 2 over x times y is equal to x squared times the quantity of x minus 1. So that's multiplying through by the integrating factor. Okay, but this can be simplified a little bit. So you can see this x will cancel out. So we end up with 2x times y. And this quantity can be distributed through x squared times x, which is x cubed minus x squared, and that gets us back to the power rule of antiderivative, or the derivative of the sums equal the sum of the derivatives. So we'll clean that up a little, this is what we have. We have the integrating factor of x squared times dy over dx, plus 2x times y. And I wanted to show you something here. Remember the derivative of the first, dy over dx, times the second, x squared, times the derivative of the second, in this case it's the integrating factor, the derivative of x squared is 2x, 2x times y. So here we have the original term, its derivative, its derivative, and we have the other original term of y and its derivative. Okay, now that means the product is the derivative of x squared times y. So there's the product rule laid out right there. And this is just distributed across the integrating factor, so we'll be able to take the derivative or the antiderivative of both sides of this fairly easily. So when we clean this up a little bit more, understand that it's just the product rule over here on the left side, we have the derivative of x squared times y is the same as this equation multiply through by the integrating factor. So the derivative of x squared times y with respect to x is equal to x squared, or excuse me, x cubed minus x squared. So we've gone through multiplying by the integrating factor and establishing the product rule. Check. All right, so now step number four, we're gonna have to integrate both sides. So down here, we just take the, you know, set up the infinite sum for both sides of the equation. This side will be fairly easy. The infinite sum and this derivative will just cancel. We're left with the argument of x squared times y is equal to this, the infinite sum, the antiderivative of the quantity of x cubed minus x squared, or the infinite sum of x cubed minus the infinite sum, the antiderivative of x squared with respect to dx, either one. So that should be fairly easy, just the power rule. So again, this one just comes down to the left side is just x squared times y, the integrating factor times y is equal to the infinite sum or the antiderivative of x cubed, which is just x to the fourth divided by four or one fourth. That's just the power rule of the antiderivative of x to the n is equal to 1 over n plus 1 times x raised to the n plus 1. So it's just that rule is in place here. So 1 over 4 times x to the 4 minus 1 over 3 times x cubed plus c. You can't forget the, the constant of integration. So plus c. So we integrated both sides. Check. So next we have to solve for y. That means we're going to divide both sides by this integrating factor of x squared. So here we have y is equal to 1 over x squared, the integrating factor, 
times this entire quantity and you can see it's going to just cancel out uh, x to the fourth becomes x squared and x cubed just becomes x and this just gets uh, divided by the integrating factor of x squared and that is it we got at y is equal to x squared over 4 minus x over 3 plus the constant of integration over x squared and this is our general solution since we don't have an initial condition we can't solve any further than that so we solved for y check Again, this is Professor Cummings. I just wanted to work through that example for you uh, for our first order linear differential equations. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to see anything else on this topic, you can just come by the engineer's reference. And there's plenty of videos and some downloads on this, on this and various topics. Thanks a lot.